Welcome back to BYU Sports Nation. We are back in the Cougar Council Room alongside Jerem Jordan. I'm Spencer Linton. It's time we celebrate the success of BYU baseball and do so after their recent victory over the rivals to the north with one of their pitchers. Cutter Clausen is with us on BYU Sports Nation. Cutter, welcome to the show. Oh, Cutter. Hey, thanks for having me. Uh, basically two innings of perfect pitching from you last night. It's one thing to do that just in general, but to do it against Utah, what was that like for you to go out there and pitch a couple of meaningful innings in that rivalry game? Oh, it was great. Um, you know, it was, it was good to be out there. The energy was high, um, especially coming in right after we, we took the lead. Um, so energy was great. Vibes were great. Um, and then to do it against Utah, you know, can't be better than that. Do you ever stare anybody down after you strike them out? <laughs> yeah, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I did. It was, yeah. It happened. How are you guys feeling as a team uh, coming off an a awesome series win at Texas and then you beat Utah? Yeah, no, it was great. Um, you know, the ball's rolling and um, we're just doing what we can. You know, we're playing baseball. Um, it's a lot of fun. Everyone is just having a really good time. You know, that's the, the end goal, right, is to, to have fun out there and to, to get wins. And, you know, we're doing it, so it can't get, get much better. What changed after losing six in a row and then you've gone on a nice streak here? Yeah, so... Um, you know, Trent pulled us in, and he was like, guys, like, you know, we're, we got to play our game. And so we kind of just controlled what we could, and we started to play our baseball, which is great. And it's, it's been very clean, and it's been, you know, a bunch of dogfights, you know, against Texas and, um, you know, then against Utah. We're, we've been showing heart throughout the whole game, which, you know, has been pretty awesome. Cutter Clausen is with us on BYU Sports Nation, BYU baseball pitcher. The Cougars have won four straight. We need to get into the origin of your name. Cutter, because <laughs> is there a better baseball name for a pitcher than Cutter? R right. <laughs> Tell us about the origin of that. So that's that's the funny thing. So my dad did grow up playing baseball. Um, love baseball. Um, my mom's love sports and things like that. And they were they were just watching a movie, um, and I guess they heard the name or something like that. And and they both looked at the at each other and they're like, "Yep, that's that's his name." Um, my mom was pregnant with me at the time, and they couldn't really decide. And you know. They just, they heard the name and that's exactly what they knew. So it's not in reference to a pitch per se, it's mm -hmm. the movie. They just heard the name and like it. Yeah, that's kind of a funny <laughs> thing. They, it, it's not the pitch and, and I don't throw a cutter. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> like, when, when my fastball is cutting, I know I'm kind of doing something wrong. <laughs> so, <laughs> Nobody needs to know that. Oh, we'll cut on that fastball. That's <laughs> hilarious. What is your best pitch? Oh, man. Um, I, I've really been liking my changeup lately. Um, it has a lot of dive to, to my arm side, and it plays really well off my, my two-seam fastball. Um, but my fastballs are pretty good when um, they're located and stuff. They, they're, they're moving. Um, but, you know, my changeup lately has, has been my favorite pitch for sure. Changeup Clausen doesn't have quite the same <laughs> ring that Cutter Clausen does, but okay then. Um, tell us the mindset of, like you said, you came in last night, uh, as a middle reliever, and you've got the lead. Sort of that mindset versus if the score's tied versus if you're behind. Yeah, um, you know, it's, it is like kind of going out there. It's like, all right, like, time to get to business. Um, but at the same time, when, when the score's tied or it's close, you kind of just have to have the same mindset um, to be able to just to close the door, you know, late in the game and stuff like that. Um, in the eighth inning is, um, you know, pretty sweet to have a lead like that for sure. Uh, makes you feel a little bit better and stuff like that. Uh, but I guess as a, from a pitching perspective, um, can't really have a big difference in, in your attitude and stuff like that because you still have to get the job done. Um, so it's just kind of one, one out at a time, one pitch at a time. Is it lonely up there as a pitcher? Like, <laughs> t take us to the mound a little bit. There. <laughs> um, I wouldn't say so. We, we're actually, something I love about this team is we're so verbal, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I got guys, I got Cooper Vex at first base. He's talking. Talking to me as I'm going, right? Cooper's hair um, is loud too. It's very loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. You know, we got the guys in the in the dugout chattering um, and stuff like that. So it's not. I want to say it's very lonely. Um, and you know, we can lean on that. Like when when times do get tough, maybe you're behind the count. Um, you take a deep breath. You hear your boys chatting you up. Um, it's pretty great. Um, but uh, you can't. You don't really pay much attention to it. Um, I don't know. I kind of just, just go out there and pitch, I guess. But so you can you can hear stuff, but you kind of zone in on just you and the catcher, I assume. Yeah, kind of as you know, once you get the the sign after not, like after that, it's more just all right. Like you know, let's get to work. Um, and yeah. It's kind of easy as you know, get in motion and stuff like that, just to block everything out. 
Cutter Clawson is on BYU Sports Nation to steal a phrase from one of my favorite baseball movies. It's an off the radar one for Love of the Game with Kevin Costner. Yeah. He says, clear the mechanism. And then <laughs> yep. he's able to zone in on the catcher. I need you to do your homework and I need you to go watch this movie, Cutter. Okay? okay. okay. Well, it's a love story. A I don't know one. if you can handle it. Love but there's, it. A, there's a lot of baseball in there Those as well. The best. Speaking of love, what do you love more? Beating the rivals Utah or winning a series at Texas? Oh, man. Um, be, being in Utah is always great. You know, it always tastes real good. Um, but that series in Texas was a dogfight. Um, it was great. Um, you know, everyone did their job. Um, we got things done. Colin Reuter came up big for us in that last game. Dude, he was amazing. It was, it was, it was quite, um, you know, quite the victory. Um, pretty sweet. Um, but, you know, leading up to that, you know, the games prior, some guys did some big things too. Um, so it was, you know, it was a battle. Um, but we'll, probably one of the coolest series that I've ever been a part of, for sure. How is uh, your one in the Big 12? Uh, it's been it's been sweet. Um, you know, it's it's been really cool. Um, you know, we came in. Um, you know, we have we have it posted. You know, right before we go in our locker room. You know, the the preseason rankings and stuff like that. The prediction, right? Is um, you know we we don't like that, right? So we see it. You know, puts us in a mood every day. All right. You know, we got to get to work. We got to get this done. We know where we belong. Um, you know, we're we're fighting. Um, you know, there's been some some big games where you know. We, we've won, and then there's big games where we've, we've not really lost by much. There's games where we, you know, we, we had, you know, we, and so we're competing, which I think is really great. Um, and we're putting the pieces together, and we're, you know, the ball's rolling. So I think it's, it's pretty great. We're pretty fortunate with um, the group of guys we got, the environment that's there, um, the coaching and stuff like that. It's been, it's been an awesome year. What does the spectrum of team goals look like this year from little goals to the big goals? Yeah. So um, I think the biggest thing is just playing our game, staying within ourselves. We all have a job, right? Um, but we're, we're, we're talented enough to where we, um, you know, if someone doesn't get that big hit or something, it's the next guy that does it um, and things like that. But really staying within ourselves and winning that pitch, because when we win that pitch, um, I guess, you know, talking about it with coaches and stuff, um, it's, it's win that pitch, you know, to – to win that inning, right, to win that game, right? If we can win every single inning and just kind of dial it back to that or dial it back to that pitch, um, you know, we can, we can be very successful for sure. What is your pitch mix? So Other I, than not having a cutter. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have a two-seam fastball, which I, I use on the, you know, facing the plate, the left side of the plate. Um, so inside on the lefty or outside on the righty. It has more, more movement, more kind of sink, I guess, to the arm side. A four-seam fastball to the right side of the plate um, doesn't move as much. Kind of helps me get into a righty. Um, and then I have a circle changeup, a slider, and a curveball. Mm. So, which is your favorite? Um, so as of lately, um, my velocity has kind of been going up. So I've been loving the velocity's fastball. going up. Let's go. Yeah, it's been it's been super fun. Um, I think you know a week and a half ago I was up to. 96 or 97 and so that's been super super great to be healthy and to be throwing it there um, but really um, you know when you can blow it by so with the fastball I think it's it's pretty sweet do you have a knuckleball sweet. cutter <laughs> <laughs> do not, do not have a knuckleball. Uh, that would be really cool <laughs> one, one day yeah. everyone wants to be Tim Wakefield pitching into their 40s do with they? that crazy knuckleball <laughs> that was quite the career for sure Okay, fair to say that at this juncture of the season, one of the clear goals of this team is to make the Big 12 tournament. Mm -hmm. Is that where yeah. does where does that fall on the goal list? Yeah, no. So um, yeah, we you know that's that's what we want to do. We want to you know keep playing. Whoever gets to play the longest is the is the winner, right? And so as we you know dissect it and stuff like that, we you know want to win, you know as many games as we can to get there, right? Um, but um, in order to do that, we, you know, we have that goal to get there, but we kind of focus on the process that's going to get there, I guess, the best way to put it. You know, and that process is just one game at a time, one pitch at a time, um, and, and that'll come. That's the, that's the best part of baseball is there's so many games um, you play um, and stuff like that, and then as you continue to win each pitch, um, you know, it's just a domino effect, right? And so, you know, we'll wake up one day and, and we'll be there, right? Um, but we, we really have the talent to get there. We have the talent to win there. Um, 
and you know I'm just excited to see where it goes for sure. Top you, ten make it. Let's go. Do you carry any superstitions with you from game to game? Um, nothing too crazy. Um, I I'm not. I, there's there's some guys that are very very superstitious, and you kind of just respect it. Um, but you know there's things such as like I don't, I don't step on the line. Um, there's I don't put which cleat on first or things like that. But kind of just like overall basic things like not step on the line or I'll I'll tap my glove before I go out to the mound. Um, or I'll, I'll point at my catcher before I go out to the mound. I don't know. Respecting the game type thing. That's too crazy, right? Yeah. yeah. Is it disrespecting the game from step of the line? <laughs> I think it's just a superstitious Maybe. thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cutter, great to be with you on BYU Sports Station. Thanks for the time. Congrats on the four game win streak. Or sorry, the, the series winning against Texas and the win against Utah. Hey, thanks for having me. Okay, good luck. And you can watch the Cougars take on Baylor on uh, Big 12 now on ESPN Plus and BYU Radio. 8 Eastern, game one tomorrow night.